Hello, Short Meetina once again from shortmeetina.com. Doing a really quick video recap for ticker HMNY. What you're looking at right now is a daily chart dating back to, I want to say, July of 2017, right? So we're going back a few, a few months, almost a year. I did a video recap on ticker HMNY yesterday. And as I indicated yesterday, the fact that we closed so low to the low of the day indicated to me that there was going to be more selling. Um, these past th three days, it has been nothing but intense, insane selling. Um, so in this three day sell off, the first day we shed something like 30 something percent. Yesterday we shed something like 40 something percent. And today I think we may have shed something like 20 something percent. So I indicated yesterday um, point pain would have been about 65 cents. Clearly we breached that. We're sitting at 61. So just based on the chart that this stock has not traded below 50 cents pretty much, um, for its entire existence minus like 2008, where we were trading at three cents, but 2008, that was sort of like the, um, the start of the great recession, the whole housing bubble economic collapse. So a lot of stocks were hammered down. So if this dips below 50, um, I, Honestly, I think there might be something more going on, you know, within the organization that we're not privy to. Um, but full disclosure, I am long once again, not in a swing trading in my swing trade trading portfolio, but in a longer term portfolio for my teen daughter. I'm looking, you know, five, 10 years that HMNY will figure it out, right? Whether or not they do, I don't know, but I'm placing my bet at some point they're going to figure it out. So let's look at the chart. So we closed a little bit above uh, 60 cents. We closed at 61 cents. Again, we closed relatively close to the low of the day. The low of today came in a little bit above 60 cents, right? It was 0.605. So the fact that we closed so close to the low of the day on like three or four time average volume denotes to me that, you know, forget that three day rule, throw that out the window. There might be some more selling tomorrow, right? Because again, we're we're selling on above average volume. So the, the stock, no doubt about it, is technically broken. So I'm gonna go back a couple of years, okay? Do you see this? So we haven't really hung out in this area since 2016, two years ago, where we were, again, trading around, uh, let's see. Actually, no, we have to go further back. Okay, so we have to really go back all the way here to 2008 to basically get into the territory that we're in now. So that tells you, that says a lot. So we're in 2018, so if I have to go back to 2008 to get prices that are reflective of what's going on today, it tells you that the chart, the stock, is technically broken, no going around it. So what we so what we want to see now, unless something insane insane happens, which I doubt, right? So there's no kind of like getting back to $2 immediately. Like that's completely out the question. What we want to see now in the, in the shorter term is we want selling to stop. We want the sellers or the shorts to take whatever profits they want to take and to leave the building. That's what we want to see right now. And based on, and let me zoom in and based on the chart that's sort of happening, but not quite right so today again a lot of selling look it's it's obvious on above average volume right yesterday obviously we had more today we actually had more than um the first day of this three-day sell-off so the and the range again it's it's relatively wide not as wide as it was the past two days but you know the range is from 60 cents the low of today was 60 cents high 85 cents that's a 25 cent spread that's pretty wide right versus yesterday which was it was worse than the day before obviously it was a lot worse than this too um so what we want to see and i and i did a blog and i'm gonna redo that blog so give me about a week if you want access to that it's gonna be free to the public where I just kind of show you what to look for to see whether or not the shorts have left the building or if short selling has sort of like subsided or if the selling period have subsided. There's certain things that I look for and I'll point out a couple of things for you folks. I already have a blog about that out there, but again, I already have a blog out there, but I wanna clean it up a little bit. I'll probably turn it into a video versus a blog where I'll do both. So give me about a week and I'll have that up. So. So again, 
there's no getting back above to this uh, support line here or one support in our resistance line. What we want or what anyone who's still in this stock, and if you're still in this stock from here, man, you need to learn risk management. You need to learn knowing when to get out or taking profits. You need to learn a lot because no one should still be in this chart at 60 cents if you at any point saw gains of $30 or even $5, 10 Like there's no way, there's no reason to still be in this uh, trade. But at, at any rate, so going forward, what we need to see, it's not for it to get back up to five, three, four dollars $4. Absolutely not. Stock is broken. What we want to see is shorts leave the building and a level of stabilization. And we have not seen that as of yet. And I don't think we're going to see that tomorrow. Stuff like that takes a couple of days to actually unfold. So in the next upcoming days and weeks, we want HMY, HMNY, to stabilize, right? We don't want any more selling. We want it to start to trade sideways. We want this selling here to subside. And that's my take right now. So head on over to shortmeetina.com, sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for the support. And if you have any questions about my video analysis, feel free to reach out to us, tina at shortmeetina.com or support at shortmeetina.com. I am pretty, um, I'm pretty responsive. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye.